Voice for the first time. CBSN starts now. Everyone, I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. House Democrats have released new transcripts from the closed door hearings of two witnesses in their impeachment inquiry into President Trump. Philip Reeker is an assistant secretary of state in the Bureau of European and Eurasian Affairs. In late October, he told lawmakers about a smear campaign against former U.S. ambassador to the Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch. He also testified acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney was responsible for the withholding of military aid to Ukraine. Mark Sandy is a top official in the Office of Management and Budget. He testified that Mulvaney did not initially provide an explanation for why military aid to Ukraine was being withheld. The results of an internal White House review released Monday found Mulvaney sought an after-the-fact justification for delaying that aid. CBS News Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes joins us now. Hi, Nancy. So Mark Sandy from the Office of Management and Budget testified acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney did not initially give an explanation for why military aid to Ukraine was being withheld. How significant is that? It's significant because this was already a highly unusual occurrence, Tanya. In fact, Sandy testified behind closed doors that he had never seen another situation like it, where this money had been allocated by Congress. There was a drop-dead date. They had to get it out the door before the end of the fiscal year, and then suddenly this mysterious hold was placed on the, the money. And when the Office of Management and Budget tried to get some answers, because they're the ones who are responsible for for placing a hold on the money, all they were told was uh, that we just have to put a hold on the money now, and then we can revisit it with the president. And they didn't get any explanation for why this was happening. Uh, Sandy said that he was so concerned uh, because he thought that it might uh, violate the law, that you can't hold this money up after Congress has already decided that it needs to go out the door to uh, a foreign nation. And so it just adds to the intrigue, and it shows how much confusion there was swirling around this holdup, and it does sort of chip away even further with the, with the White House claim that uh, the reason that the president wanted to hold this aid up was because he had concerns about uh, other nations doing their fair share and concerns about corruption in Ukraine. If those actually had been the reasons, you would think that there would be other individuals around him who would have known about it. But instead, there was confusion everywhere, from the Pentagon to Capitol Hill to even within the White House. At the, the top echelons of the Office of, and Man of Management and Budget, no one seemed to understand why the president was doing this. And Nancy, in his testimony, Assistant Secretary of State Philip Reeker spoke about what he called outrageous smears and attacks against former ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch. He also said Rudy Giuliani, quote, denigrated the whole embassy in Ukraine. Does this increase pressure on Giuliani to testify? <laughs> 